Hi everybody, my name is Seth K. Bani and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a staple portrait in Photoshop. Alright, so let's go into Photoshop and then let's click on create new. Now because this is going to be a portrait, I'm going to set it to 1500 and then 2000. Now that's the dimension that I want to use. Set here the pixels, set here to 72 RGB 8 bit, change the color here to color white. If yours is not color white and then let's call, okay, let's call it click on ok let's call it um stay pull pull treat effect and then click on create now i would also want you to go to view and then go to new guide layout set here to columns set the rules on and then set here to two set here to two and then click on ok now once we have this i want you to go and pick your image drag your image in there I'm going to leave the image in the description for you. Let's resize it. If you want to use this image, kindly feel free to use it. It will be in the description for you to download. Let's bring it a little bit down. Awesome. Click on OK. I also want her nose to be in the middle of the line. All right. So you see the tip of her nose is in the middle of my line. That's how I want it to be. If you're using your own image, kindly feel free to use your own image. But remember that the image I have separated the background from the image because the image doesn't have a background it's a png file okay and so you could you, you can see i can easily change the let's see i can easily change give a different color to it i can give it because there's no background of the image so if you have your own image please make sure you delete the background of the image it's very important all right so let's bring this one back let's select this and let's select this and then i want you to right click it and then convert to smart object now, now that we have it as a smart object, I want you to go down here and then go for black and white because we want our staple effect to be in black and white. Right? All right. So click over here on the image and I want you to right, uh, double click it and call it portrait. Sweet. Go to image, go to adjustments. If you watch my videos, you realize I don't like to use these adjustments these adjustments on the menus i don't like to use it because once you apply it on the image it's difficult for you to get back to it again i like to use uh, i like to be able to manipulate and have control on my, on my editing so um the reason why i am using that is because i converted this to a smart object and so it will give me the opportunity to always come back and edit it if i want to do so okay so let's see go to image let's go to adjustments and let's come all the way to shadows and highlight now i want you to set here to around 13 let's see and then maybe set here to three and then let's see how it looks like this is good okay now you see how it is it gave me the option over here so i can easily take out the shadows out if i don't want it this is how i wanted it to be so guys make sure if anytime you want to use this over here make sure you convert your image here to a smart object great so now with that out of the way Make sure the portrait is selected and then go to filter, go to filter gallery. I want you to go and click on the artistic column over here. Go to paint drops and set here to one, set here to 35. Choose simple over here and then let's see how it looks like. Sweet. I can feel the crisp and the um, sharpness in there is very nice. Click on OK. So you can have it here like this awesome guys awesome i want you to click on control one for us to see the full effect in there that's good you can see it clearly awesome i want you to duplicate it now i want you to open the options over here i want you to hide the paint filter over here so this filter gallery i want you to hide it great i want you to double click on the shadows open it then I want you to boost the amount up like this to around 71%. That's if you are using my image and click on OK. I want you to set the blending mode to darken. Awesome. I want you to add levels to it. Go on top of it. Click over here. Go for levels. Set here to zero. Don't move it. all right so let's set here to 0 0.45 let's set here to 131 and then that's it now i want you to click on make sure this layer is selected 
and then click on Control Shift Alt and then E for it to merge on one particular layer for us. Let's name it Effect Suite. Now I want you to right click it and then I want you to go to Duplicate Layer and I want you to click over here, click on New and then let's just call it Portrait Effect and then let's click on OK. It's going to open a new um, document for us like this and then I want you to go to image I want you to go to mode I want you to go to grayscale and I want you to click on discard nice I want you to go back again to image I want you to go to mode but this time I want you to go to bitmap click on OK for it to flatten the image and then set over here to 150 let's see and then also make sure here is diffusion data in fact let's set here to 190 okay and then click on make sure yes diffusion data and then click on okay sweet let's zoom in let's see it's in there i also want us to go back to image let's go to mode and let's go and choose grayscale and then let's set the ratio to one click on ok then let's go back again to image let's go to mode and then let's go and choose rgb color awesome awesome now we are done with it but if you want to give it more effect or more style play with it and see how you, what you're going to come up with you can click here and then maybe set this let's choose something like this as well you can choose this and then this is how it's going to be but i would like it to keep it this way guys if you love this video please hit the bell icon and subscribe to this channel i love you all guys see you in the next tutorial peace